Today, we are live from Mossos with chef owner Petrina Lowe. Here at Mossos, she works with a variety of flavour profiles, experiments on fermentation, curing, ageing, and she possesses a good knowledge of traditional Chinese medicine. Actually, what got me really started eating, at first eating a lot of uh, fermented goods, is because over time, I felt that through eating fermented goods, actually, my, my gut is fine. Wow. Like, and I realised how powerful it is. I just slowly integrated it through all my diet, right? And, and I find that it's a very natural, I like natural healing. And I think that definitely is one of the drivers why we also introduce it to the restaurant because um, it is very nourishing, it's great for your gut. What I really do here, we do a lot of uh, salt curing, um, brining and whey fermentation. You know, people look at me as a fermenter, as a brewer, and they think like, oh, you know, it's a lot in the expertise of the brewer, but I see myself as like a shepherd. So I don't actually do the fermentation, right? And you would know that you don't actually do the fermentation. Yeah. What you do is to coax or to persuade oh. uh, or to create the right microbes to do the fermentation for you, right. right? The evolution of it actually is very dependent on Mother Nature. Yes. I mean, the humidity today, you know. But I guess as fermenters, uh, what you want to be very concerned about is like the produce you use, how clean it is. Um, the, your receptacles, you know, like what you say, how you guide, you know, and, and coax this, this whole ferment to actually evolve and to end up as this end product. So how can a beginner start to ferment? I think for, for beginners, really easy to do like just salt brine, you know, vegetables, carrots, turnips, uh, daikons, really easy. Just make sure, you know, it's weighted, make sure like, you know, there's yeah. no contact with air um, and make sure to burp it often. But I think what's important to know is how much sodium there is in your salt. So just make sure you look at the, the type of salt you're using. So then do adjust your recipes, you know, accordingly. If your cabbage, that you pulled it and then you didn't finish it, like don't throw it out. You know, it's just more sour. Yep, but then yep. there's a good use for it. You know, you can put it into stews and all that and it tastes great. And that's probably a, a, a great takeaway for our viewers listening. 